Okay, let's talk today about how to save items within EBSCO Discovery Service. And this, these used to be called folders. Now these, what used to be called folders, are called projects. And then this is the area where you save things that will be saved. Now you can save things here uh, for a limited amount of time, but what I would recommend is creating a login within the database so you can save things as long as you want. And you can organize them into projects, which are what used to be called folders. So what you would do for that is go right over here to my EBSCO, click sign in. And then right here, if you don't have this, you would click create an account. If you have an account from the old EBSCO system, it should carry over, but that sign in will carry over. All of your saved items probably will not carry over. So my sign in came over to this, to this new system, but it didn't have my saved items. There's another video I have showing you how to find those saved items again. But if you haven't done this before, click create an account. I would recommend doing it the standard way. I haven't had very good luck with continue with Google. Some people have had that, but I've had a number of students contact me saying that didn't work or it worked for a while and then it stopped working. So I would recommend just typing in your information here and creating your own account. This isn't necessarily your CSU Global information. This isn't an automatic account. You have to create your own account because this is individual to you. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to click sign in or we can go back here to the original page. And once you have your account, you can click sign in to my EBSCO. It has my sign in information saved here. I'm just going to click sign in. And now when I search for things here, I'm just going to do search for project management and scope. And if I see something that I like, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could start just by saving them. I'll grab a couple of things here. And I'm clicking this little, looks like a little blue ribbon. This saves it. So then I'm going to go over to my saved. And then I have these things waiting there that I just saved. And what I want to do, I want to add them to a project. So I'm going to go over here to project, projects up here. I'm going to create a new project here by clicking this plus sign. And I'm going to call this my project management folder. This is going to be my pro project management folder. I, I don't, if you noticed there, there were some other things beneath there. Uh, let's go back in there again. I don't think I saved it. I forgot to click the create button. Okay. Here, you don't need to put in a due date. I never use those and I never put in a description. You can if you want. Then I'll just click create. Now I've got a project management project here. It's what they call these. Like I said, they used to call them folders. So now, and you can see I have another project here that already has some things saved in it. Now I'm going to go back to my saved area. And I'm going to take these things, this five must do's. I'm going to add that to a project. Choose project. I'm going to put that in my project management project. Okay. Then I'm going to add this to the project. Add now. And then I'll add this one to my project management project. I keep calling them folders, but they're now called projects. Okay. Now <clears throat> let me go over here to my projects. Here's my project management folder. And I've got those three things added in there. Now I can, if I'd like just to clean things up, I can go back to my saved folder and I don't need these just sitting in my saved area any longer. So I'll just unclick that little blue ribbon and that because I don't, I don't really need them just sitting out in the general area. And if I go over to projects now, those items are still in there. So that's how you create what used to be called folders. They're called projects now, and it's, it's a way to save things that you can come back to. And what you have to remember is just every time you open up this database, 
the the are the projects and the save things are not going to be there automatically what you'll have to do is go over to my ebsco and sign in it knows who i am now i've signed in but the first thing you would want to do when you open up this database if you want to get back to your saved things and keep saving things is just sign into your account and the first thing of course you'd have to do is to create that account but that is how you use projects in the new ebsco system again these used to be called folders now they're called projects so hopefully that was clear to you. If not, feel free to ask me any questions. Okay. Thank you very much.